Man, I'm gonna put a video down in the description where this mother pretty much abuses the credit of her grown daughter and they are having a verbal altercation. Let's talk about it. to the Most High Yah Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spirit-filled episode. Today, I'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business. Man, go check out this video that I put down in the description, you know, by the Crimson Cure, who is constantly keeping her foot on the neck of these lawless hyenas. You know, pretty much what happens is the daughter, you know, the daughter pretty much calls out her mama, who is a black single mother, for something that's on her credit report and they get into a verbal altercation. And the mama doesn't take any accountability uh, for ruining her daughter's credit. And the mama is just pretty much trying to pull rank. And this goes to show you, man, I'll tell you, can't nobody out argue a black woman and can't nobody play the victim uh, better than a single mother. I'll leave you with those two things. The mama, when, when the daughter's not hearing it, she starts talking about, well, your daddy this, and at the end of the day, that don't have nothing to do with the price of tea in China. The child did, the child never chooses who the parent lays down with. That's a, a your problem as the mother. The mama started talking about, yeah, I got, I had to uh, take care of the house and take care of this. This is why some of these folks should not be having babies if you have to do this. Man, there's people out there, you know, that are telling you how you can help build your child's credit because they realized when they were uh, young, young and starting out, they didn't have any credit. But this woman, let me tell you something, this is why I don't keep none of these heathen ass holidays. I guarantee you this mother uh, want something on Mother's Day, expect some. how come y'all didn't call me? How come y'all didn't take me out to eat? Cause your ass sorry and trifling, that's why. And here's the thing, like I said, shout out to the Crimson Cure because uh, she, uh, her and other women out there, you got River TV, Crimson Cure, man, they put they, 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 they foot on the neck of these hyenas because these hyenas is what give uh, women a bad rap. You see what I'm saying? And you have a, a small percentage of single mothers out there that don't do foolishness like this. But for the most part, a lot of them be operating like they strong, independent, and don't need no man, but let some shit hit the fan. All of a sudden, they're gonna play that, play that heart, you know, play that violin. Well, I'm struggling because I don't have no man. Your daddy left, and here's the thing. Man, we don't know. Uh, we don't know the testimony of the man that left her, and we don't know why. But there goes to show you, man. Women that always play the victim cannot keep a man. They cannot keep a man. And this single mother drained uh, they daddy nuts in order to have a child, and now she's draining the credit of her daughter. And the daughter ain't with it. So go check the video out, man. And uh, let me know what you think about it. To me, man, this is a this is a damn shame. I can't even in my right mind uh, imagine doing something like this because my kids did not get themselves into this situation. They didn't get no pleasure out of the situation, but the kids are often left with the pain of uh, a man and a woman's uh, stupidity and ignorance and bad choices. Closer to Yacht Ministries, kicking that thing, gun barrel straight. Bow.